Hi guys, welcome back, part two. Okay, this time we'll be talking about uh, air assist, air assist, and lighting in the cabinet here, and a few other bits and bobs. So, I've had a bit of a different idea with the air assist, a simpler one. I've uh, printed up this 3D design here with slits in both sides so you can adjust. Not everyone's machines are the same, obviously. And a blower duct which slips in underneath. Easily so. And this sits right here on our standard housing, screws straight in. Okay, it's a bit loose. A little bit of glue might be in order. Screw that down there. Get it in position so it'll... Oops, what are we doing? Alright, it's a bit better. Screw that down. Eye it up, get it in the middle. And get this simple duct sitting underneath. This is a normal 12 volt axle fan. Easily obtained from our Chinese friends. And let's take a closer look here. You can adjust it back and forth and get it sitting right there so it'll give you a nice airflow right at the point of contact. All right. So I think the best thing to do is I've wired it up here temporarily. I'll uh, eventually get the chain. But um, we've got a simple 12 volt set up here and to test it, so uh, let's put it together and test it and see what happens. Okay, so let's crank this baby up. Uh, let's dial up, what have we got, 12 volts? A little bit more gas. Very nice and quiet. Hard to hear it. Alright, so let's put a file in, burn it up, see what happens. I've also uh, made sure when I designed this that it doesn't fail on any, any, any part of the machine. So it's there lovely. Okay, so this is engraving. Obviously, not a huge amount of smoke, but. Uh, to be doing the job. Let's crank up the power a bit and get a Shut the fan off and see what the difference is.
So as you can see, it uh, works quite well. It'll blow a bit too much power here. <laughs> Had to crank it down a bit, but uh, and miss the edge. Oops. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Bitcoin, baby. Lighting's next. Okay, let's have a look at lighting. What I have here is this uh, LED strip. And thinking about the best way to install it. Here we have our panel, obviously. And what we're going to need is some light coming from the side. And this shines through the acrylic and lights up the engraving. And looks fantastic. So, my plan is to install this strip here facing sideways so the light is shining out here. And what I'll do is run it up here. Oh, look, free energy. Amazing. Look at that. Gone. Anyway, what I'll do is run it up here, all the way along here, this edge, and then loop it over the back here. And then run it under here so that it lights up all the cabin as well. Um, this has its own sticky back, so quite easy to install. But looking at it, I think the best way is what I'll do is start this here and about here I will solder on the connection for the wires so they can go directly here and up into the panel for our switch that will turn on the internal lighting. So that's the plan. Let's solder on the wires that we need. Okay, so what we have here is positive on the right, negative on the left. So we'll go ahead, solder this as neatly as we can. There we go. Okay. So, let's get this installed. Let's peel back the double-sided tape. Cover. I'm peeling everything off here. Okay. So let's start down this end. Let's get it up right in the corner up there. Let's Stick her in. The thing about LEDs is they're good, you're efficient, but you don't want them in your face. So we hide them and let the light shine through. Get rid of that. And it's a little bit longer, so again, I'll loop it around the corner. Or I mean, you can go all the way around if you like. Whatever you want to do. And then we'll stick this piece on the edge here, and up underneath. Let's crank it up, 12 volts. And there we are. Nicely lit. Let's have a look inside our bay here. Ooh, look at that. That's going to be fantastic. All lit up nicely. So, as I said, this is stuck on the other side of this, facing this way, so that the light shines through the acrylic. And there we go. Simple lighting. 
So there's the finished product. As you can see the wire is right up in the corner there, ready to go to connect. Okay, this is what I did with the uh, cooling setup. This is a 25 litre distilled water container. It was cheap, 8 euro or something. I uh, just cut a, a slot in it here to fit the pump inside. Down in there. Tubes come out. Down in there. Everything nice and closed. Beautiful. I removed a bit of water here so you can have a bit of a, a spill over level here and we probably got phew, 20 liters there plenty if you're worried about cold you could easily add a bit of antifreeze in there so simple enough but effective so guys that's the end of part two um, if you find this information valuable please take some time donate PayPal Bitcoin address down below uh, appreciate it thanks very much and um, Looking forward to part three. See you guys. Thanks.